Moran. I love catching up with you. First things first, Iron Man. We got to talk like old 1990s. Moran just gets here from Agbazia and he's at Finley. I love those stories, man. But but you guys got a lot of guys here wrestling today. How's Team Moran doing today? We're doing pretty good. Um, we got a lot of guys who's wrestling and fighting and trying to get in the podium. Um, we lost a few guys in a semi, but we have a few guys who's going for championships. It's a battle, and the kids are fighting, and it's a tough tournament, you know? And uh, some kids are young, some kids are more mature than the other, some kids are already hit the little puberty, so it depends who's wrestling on what level. So, you know, I look at this. You came up under a totally different system. You came up under the so Soviet system, right? Yes. You guys don't wrestle like this. You don't wrestle like, you, you don't wrestle tournaments like this is what I should uh, say. No, we don't wrestle like this because uh, it's kind of business here, uh, Zab. Um, it's, it's a lot of kids uh, compete in this country too early. It's a lot of uh, stress on the kids. It's a lot of stress on the parents. A lot of kids are still young not mature, you know, mentally, physically, psychologically. So, you know, I understand preparation's gotta be there, training's gotta be there, but putting the kids in this environment, it's very hard, very stressful for young kids. And um, they need to be patient to grow up. And I think we're more patient there, we train and not chase trophies all the time, not too soon. And that's what I, I find a difference a little bit in this country than Soviet, you know. But when we compete, we compete to win it. And um, it's, um, it's a different um, in this environment. We, we have too many great tournaments and we go to compete too many tournaments when we should be doing more preparation, more training. Speak of, you know, speaking of, of the model that you, you know, you raised Carson under your model, under the Soviet model. He didn't compete a ton early on, right? Yes. I think he's the best junior in Ohio, no disrespect to anybody else, but I think he's the best junior in Ohio. I mean, his state tournament spoke to that, and I think his Ironman spoke to that. You know, a, a bad call against Rocky Jordan. I think he's the number one guy in the country without that call, right? So, you know, it speaks to Carson, you know, and that's, you know, he's got your freak genetics, yeah. which is pretty cool for him, right? But you didn't run him through the same system. Okay, now as a club coach, how much different is coaching kids? And then you see how you did it with Carson. You know, is there something where you tell some people maybe they got to dial it back a little bit? Yeah, you know, it's uh, a lot of people take it in a different way, but I took my son in a different angle, you know, which... He, like you mentioned, he did not compete Carson until eighth grade. And when he competed, I told him, you better be ready to win, you know. And obviously, you know, competing early, sometimes they're not developed physically, mentally. And that's what I'm a little concerned for young kids. But for my son, he was training, training nonstop, but competing less stay more hungry for high school and after high school. And after high school is the most important in the NCAs. And after NCAs, it's the world in Olympic. I just uh, have a different philosophy for my son. I try in a lot of other sons too. I love them, but sometimes maybe some parents take their kids to compete too soon and Obviously, a lot of kids, when they train, they want to go get on the podium. You can't blame for that. But you want to make sure the kids is prepared. The kids is trained. The kids is physically, mentally is ready. And uh, I think Carson um, was ready when he competed. He is ranked in the country. So I think um, it shows physically, he's technically, he's one of the best kids out. And I'm proud of him, but he worked extremely hard. He worked in his high school and he worked after high school in my room. And he does his homework. He stays uh, on a disciplined size. He's very disciplined. And that's kind of 
you want him to prepare better after high school when he go to college. And some people forget what you've done in high school when you get in college. And hopefully that will work for him. And um, I hope he will be prepared. How hard is it for you to stay out of the way maybe? Like let Mark Marinelli coach him, let Coach Zucker coach him, let those guys do the thing. And then this college process is coming up. Yes. You, know, you were a college coach. You yes. were an NAIA national champ. You know how to wrestle, man. You know a lot about the game. Is it, I'm going to get out of the way and let my kid make the decision? Or how involved are you in that, Well, very well said. That's another step now with Carson being a junior in high school and he's recruited Havill in the country right now. Hasn't made his decision. But, you know, I think it is important process. And... For Carson to decide which school he wants to go right now, it's his decision. It's going to be his decision. It's going to be wrestling, hopefully, and being succeed wrestling and academically. He needs to be happy, and he's the one who's going to go and work for five years and train and study. He needs to choose, and I'm trying to help him out, but I'm going to help him make a decision himself where he's going to be happy. As far as you said, Coach Mark Marnelli and um, what, what done a wonderful job, you know, uh, Zucker and that whole Liberty staff, they are together and they, I don't get involved. I, as a coach, I'm a club coach. I understand what coach is involved. I, I never bother. I never go to his high school room and tell them what to do. They're in charge of their high school kids. They're in charge of Carson. I leave him alone, and I think it worked out. All right, we got some some matches coming up here. You got to get coaching. You got anything else for me? I I really appreciate that you and Flo following up and promoting this sports. Zab, you're passionate. We know each other for a while. You have a lot of your family who wrestle. You do help this sport. This. This flow, the, the, what you guys doing, it really helps this sport. And I appreciate what you up to and keeping up with all the craziness here. So, and, so you're going to have to take me to Russia and be my tour guide to pay me back. Yes, Can we do that? since my home in <laughs> Sargush is We're going to go hang out with Dennis Sargush. Yes. We're, we're going to eat lobster and shoot like and uh, I'll, I'll polar take, bears or I'll something. I'll take you to Abkhazia, my home, and you really get the real hospitality. What means Abkhazian culture? Not I'm, just rush. I'm excited. I'm we excited. should do it for All sure. All right. Hey, thanks for the time. Enjoy coaching. And it's always, as always, good luck to Carson and you guys making that college decision. Thank you very much, Zach.